Late last year, Haitian President Jovenel Moïse announced that his country, the poorest in the Caribbean, would build a brand new army. That plan isn't just an expensive one. It's a total about face from a decision more than 20 years ago to get rid of Haiti's military entirely. You're looking at pretty much all that exists of the new Haitian army. At this training ground in a former UN base, Captain Louisant Judenay is trying to get a couple hundred troops ready for National Flag Day, a celebration of Haitian independence. Okay. What do you think are the biggest challenges facing the army now? Uh, the biggest challenge is right now is the, is the budget. We need to rebuild everything all over again. So all that takes money. Exactly. And your guys have quite yeah. old weapons. I don't. Do they work? Do you know uh, these? This is for the parade, actually. That's a uh, and World War One. Weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what. But at some point, they'll need an actual modern weapon, I think. Yeah, modern. You're correct. Un, deux, trois. Do you talk to them about the old days? Yes, every time. Every time. Especially. What do you say? Uh, a lot of things. A lot of things because they're young. There they are things that happen they didn't know. And I told them, Solo has nothing to do with politics. Whenever you get messed with politics, you know, you get killed. Oh! oh. The past hangs over everything the new Haitian army is trying to do. And for good reason. The last time Haiti had an army, they participated in a series of brutal crackdowns and coups against the country's democratically elected president. In 1995, the US and other countries oversaw the army's disbanding, replacing it with a national police force that's heavily funded and heavily vetted by international partners. But now, with the United Nations peacekeeping mission winding down, the government says it needs a military force of its own. Hervé Denis is the Minister of Defense. He's in charge of building the army into an eventual force of 5,000 and selling it to a skeptical public and foreign partners. The enemies now have new faces. It's not, you know, the traditional enemies that come to invite the country with guns and so on. So we said we identified those enemies. We said they, they are, the name are earthquake, and the name are contraband, the name are poverty. Why do you need an army to do this? Don't you already have a pretty strong police force? There is an emotional reason. Maybe you won't understand it. But for me and for the Haitian, this is an army that brings us to the independence, make us a country. Not everyone's buying it. Mario Joseph is a human rights lawyer in Port-au-Prince. Well, cholera, la liberté publique. For the past two decades, he's been fighting on behalf of the victims of one of the army's worst atrocities, the 1994 massacre in Rapato. You were the prosecutor team for Rapato from the beginning. Yeah, on the, from the beginning, we put the file on the court. We got this. If this is a, the complaint of the victims, all, all complaints we got. How, how many victims were there? 42. Mm. Eventually, 53 people, including soldiers and paramilitaries, were convicted for their role. But in 2005, the Haitian Supreme Court threw the cases out, citing errors in how they were tried. The government says this army is a new army. It's totally different from the old army. Do you believe that? Écoutez, non, ce n'est pas vrai. Bon, c'est un gouvernement qui ment. Le gouvernement ment, 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 ment. C'est... C'est une armée 
replâtrer. Donc c'est ça, ce n'est pas une nouvelle armée, ce n'est pas un nouveau haut état-major. Il a un point. Les officiers haïtiens insistent qu'ils tournent la page, que la nouvelle armée ne sera rien comme like l'ancienne armée. Mais quand le ministre de Nice a pris la vice news sur un tour des facilités de l'armée, à la place de son headquarters original, il y avait beaucoup de faces familières parmi le haut commandant. Continuez. So this is the chief of staff, and then there is a Colonel Gabriel. Colonel Jean Robert Gabriel, an assistant chief of staff, was one of those originally convicted for his role in the command structure during the Rabateau massacre, in the case that was later thrown out. He and everyone else in the room were on American sanctions lists in the 90s, part of a crackdown on Haiti's military leaders. Ministry officials say they were all cleared of any human rights violations. They had been out of the army. And then, after a vetting process, we get them back in the army, they have to be wise. Thank you very much, Kai. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Some of the people from that high command, though, were involved in the old army, too. Doesn't that send the wrong signal? Sir, how could I create an army, you know, without people having the knowledge? So I understand the people say, hey, yeah, but they come from uh, uh, the old army. But they have to come some, from, from somewhere. I can understand, you know, the, some people do some concern, but I said, watch us. You will see that uh, we, are, uh, we, are, we are doing the, for the best for the country. You're confident? Yeah, I am confident of that. 